Good morning, family. This is Deborah Ya with Black Education TV. I'm going to try my best not to do so much moving around. I've had a, ref a few requests to kind of be still a little bit, and I'm going to try to remember that. Right now, I want to talk about um, something that's very serious that's happening in the world today. And uh, many of you are aware of this, but um, not really paying attention to it. But the world is being microchipped. The world is being microchipped, and we are just kind of uh, floating through time and space, not even concerning ourselves with any of this stuff. What we've done is entered into the matrix of this century. We've always lived in the matrix for the most part, but things are starting to get... I would say a lot more serious but um, as usual so-called black people are asleep at the wheel while the world is fastly moving around us and things are happening and um, <clears throat> so many different things are starting to unfold right before our eyes we're basically ignoring these um, these very important things and we're so engulfed in things that mean nothing we're not preparing for anything, and we have this blind faith. We think that uh, faith without works is going to get us somewhere. The scripture tells you faith without works is dead, meaning there is something that you have to do to save yourself. The Most High doesn't expect us to sit back and say, I'm going to wait for the sky to crack open, or I'm going to wait for someone to come and put a plate of food in front of me, or I'm going to wait for someone to till the ground for me. The Most High expects us to engulf ourselves in reality look at the signs of the time there are things that are happening that are very um, disastrous in the world I mean you have all kinds of catastrophes and um, <clears throat> uncertain weather patterns and um, earth shaking and quaking and ground opening up sinkholes destruction of the planet poisoning of the water nuclear waste spills, all kinds of things happening. <clears throat> Tsunamis. And what are we doing? We are living in that matrix that makes us believe and think that everything is all right. And so we prepare for nothing and we get involved in everything that doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> the things that don't make sense, we get involved in those things. We're allowing Hollywood to feed us what they want us to, to um, believe while ignoring the truth. The truth is you have work to do, family. The truth is it's time to wake up out of the sleep that you're in. Because the sleep is going to be the very thing that's going to catch a lot of people off guard. Because you're allowing yourself to sleep at a time that you're supposed to be awake and preparing and praying and seeking and fasting and consecrating and all those other things. We get so caught up in petty garbage that we can't see the forest for the trees. We're happy and content in nothingness. And it's time for us to shed that thought pattern. That is a, a very dangerous thought pattern to not focus on the things that you should focus on. When reality finally comes and kicks a lot of people in the behind, it's going to be too late. And so I think it's time for us to exit the matrix. I know it's fun living there. The Matrix kind of reminds me of that place we call La La Land. That place where so many people dwell. The place where you can do whatever you want and not have to think of the consequences. As you see, the Most High is not playing. He is laying down his judgment and he's beginning, beginning with the house of Yah. He's beginning with his own children. He has allowed this judgment and this punishment to go on for a very long time. <clears throat> And so now I want to say, family, I want to encourage you to begin to take life a lot more serious. I mean, to some degree, you may take life serious in terms of, um, okay, I got to eat today, so I need to go work. That's some of you. But for the most part, we're not taking it serious enough to go beyond the superficial things and go beyond the, the things that are right before us. Look behind the scenes. Discover what's going on behind the scenes, family, because time is far spent and the day is at hand and so we had better repent and turn our lives 